Hey YouTube, this is Mike, MKMZR1. Uh, putting together a video response to uh, Jester0916. Uh, tagged me on uh, top three items for home defense tactical situation. So I figured I'd get a video done um, and how I see the, uh, the actual necessities for weapons. Yeah, when you're protecting your property, your home, your loved ones, however you want to put it. <clears throat> of course, everything has its own situation. In the house, you know, people are always like, well, you got to keep your weapons locked up or, you know, they're unloaded, they're put up in a safe place. And, you know, there's mixed feelings on kids being around weapons, you know, if it's, you know, feasible, how, how do you get to protect yourself you know, when you have young ones around. Uh, my thought is the younger you teach them, the sooner they learn. Uh, my kids learned at a very young age, you know. Number one, stay out of my stuff, okay. Two is never touch a weapon unless they're being supervised. And, of course, the safe handling of a weapon such as a, a firearm. Uh, everyone is, every weapon is treated as it's loaded, and my kids learned that right off the bat. Of course, as they grew up, the more they got to shoot them, the more they got to handle them, the, the more educated they became, so I had less worries. So in my home, uh, I, don't have a, you know, I don't have them locked up in a safe where I can't get to them. If somebody breaks into my door or is in my house when I return, um, one, the weapon on me is the first thing I'm going to reach for. Uh, because the, the fucked up laws we have in this liberal society that we lived in that, you know, it's acceptable for somebody to break into my home and I shoot their ass and they want to try and sue me because they got shot. Well, you know, it, it's basic, uh, right and wrong. If you're going to break into somebody's house, you better expect to get your ass blown away, uh, regardless of what the hell you're doing. Um, that's just nature of, of the, the beast when it comes to that. So, yeah, the weapon, you know, I'm going to pull out is the one that's on me. Uh, nine times out of ten is either going to be a knife or a handgun. Well, uh, when it comes to handguns, I'm going to pull out the old XD-45, you know. Yeah, people are like, oh, that's a big-ass weapon to carry, concealed, you know, whatever. Well, you know, I could carry a freaking 32 like I'm freaking James Bond or some shit. But the 45 is a true tested caliber that if I shoot that bastard in the pinky toe, he's going to do a uh, head over heels flip, land on his back, and I'm going to be able to plug a couple more rounds in his chest and in his head. So that's why I carry this big bastard. I want the 45 knockdown power. And this one's loaded. I'm not going to sit here and, and, you know, try to smooth things over. Let me put it on safe and clear it for you. It's on freaking video. It's not pointed at anybody. Uh, so that's the first go-to weapon. Uh, strategically placed in my home, if, you know, I'm surprised in the middle of the night or I get up to investigate a sound or what have you, uh, I know where the shit's at in my house. Well, those that are in my home or invading my home don't know where my shit's at, so I know I have a buffer of where I can go to just in case. But the next one would be the old Mossberg 500, 12 gauge pump action loaded for bear, ready to knock down the invader, okay, and I know I'm, not, I'm on my cell phone as a video camera, so it's kind of hard to see this big bastard, but it's a 12 gauge, you know, got the five extra rounds there, five rounds in the tube, one in the chamber, ready to go, so I grab this sucker, everybody knows what a 12 gauge sounds like when you're racking around, so, you know, they get a couple steps in, and they hear that thing, hopefully they're going to be turning around running, before I pop around in their ass. So that's the other gun. And I'm not going to go through every weapon in my house. One, you never know who's watching this crap. Who could be outside in the, on the roadway waiting for me to leave to come in and try and steal my shit or think they know what I have. So, you know, the other another weapon I have strategically placed just in case is uh, my little SOG Tomahawk. You know, and these are things that you know, as a homeowner, as a weapon owner, you know, you place them strategically in your house so they're out of sight, out of mind, but you know where they're at. 
And if you are stuck in a hallway or in another bedroom or in a different room in the house, it's within reach and you can react with it. Now, I know I pull this thing out. I'm going to, you know, somebody pulls a weapon or a gun or something of that nature. If I have to, I can throw this damn thing. It's heavy enough that where if I don't stick him with a blade, the blunt trauma is going to, you know, confuse him for a second. And if you're within 25 feet, you should be able to get to them before they can get a weapon on you or pull the trigger. Of course, every situation is different. We all know that. Uh, but it will give me time to either get to another firearm or get on the individual and take care of business, you know, and fight for my shit. Because I just, I'm, I'm of the mindset, you're not taking my stuff unless you take it from my cold, dead hand. So there you have it. Those are three things that I have in my home. Uh, those are just three of the many, but they're three weapons. Uh, you know, of course I got machetes, I've got kukris, I've got other blades throughout the house. I have other firearms in the house. I have ammo located in different locations because you never know what's going to be going on. If you're working out in your shop or if you're in your basement or if you're in the garage or if you're in the shower. You know, if I'm in the shower, somebody breaks into my house, well, I might not hear them. But three feet away in my freaking closet, I know I have something that's going to take care of business. You know, same thing if I'm in the, you know, in the middle of the night sleeping, they're going to come in my room or what have you. Within arm's reach is a firearm that I'm going to be able to put lead down range. So that's my point of view on that. Uh... Just a few pieces that I have, and this is, like I said, a VR for Jester. Uh, appreciate you tagging me, brother. Uh, I love watching your channel. You guys, you got some cool stuff going on. I hope this is entertaining for some. You know, not everybody is a sheep dog. There's a lot of sheeple out there. There's a lot of liberal cocksuckers who don't agree with uh, us gun owners and knife owners and advocates of the weapons and the right to bear arms. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they're the victims. And they can continue to be victims because those predators are going to continue to prey on them. Just like the law of the jungle. You're either the hunted or the hunter. Well, I'm not being hunted by anything. And that's the bottom line. So, there you have it. My two cents, my perspective, a few of the weapons that I have. Y'all stay safe out there. Uh... Keep doing what you're doing, and remember, two is one, one is none.